Now, we are finding out new information right now about the murder of a golden man whose death was then covered up by arson. The victim just identified as 54-year-old William Burchette, and we now know the suspect is the roommate he had met just a week earlier on Craigslist. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon working this case. And, Lindsay, understandably, Burchette's family just too upset to talk about this. And but friends of William Burchette did speak with us. They say he loved model trains and he loved his band, the Resonators, on the band's Facebook page, a picture of William with messages from friends saying, God bless you, Billy. You are loved more than you can ever know. Investigators outside a golden home, the scene of a murder and fire Saturday. Seven News confirming 54-year-old William Burchette lived here. Uh, just sad, sad loss of a good, good guy that was uh, just a genuine given person. Neighbors who asked to stay anonymous say Burchette just found a roommate on Craigslist who only lived here one week. Nice kid at first, you know, something maybe a little oddness about him. 22-year-old Thomas LaPerch moved from Maryland and was living in the basement of the home. In an arrest affidavit obtained by 7 News, it states Burchette was unhappy with his roommate and planned to ask him to leave the night before firefighters were called here. He, he was having some issues with the amount of rent he was paying, but then he said Will offered him the money back. It's still unclear what transpired between the two, but the affidavit states when firefighters responded to this home 1030 Saturday morning, they found Burchette in an upstairs bedroom with stab wounds and burns. In the living room, there was an empty kerosene bottle and a trail of blood from the upstairs bedroom to the downstairs where LaPerch lived. There was no need for it. No need for it. Investigators caught up with LaPerch Sunday on the 16th Street Mall. With the help of a canine, officers found accelerant on the jacket he was wearing. And back live, LaPerch has not been formally charged. However, he is being held without bond, facing charges of arson and murder. We did check he does not have a criminal background here in Colorado. However, in Maryland, he has been arrested for minor charges, including marijuana possession and having a handgun in his car. Reporting live, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.